Say hello dear, this is Polly of Blessing Must Book You a Bed Aris and I am here with Oscar Marchock, a uh, power lifter who is uh, going off to compete in the Gay Games in Mexico in about a month six weeks time, is that right? Um, so I'm just, we've just been doing a raffle, as most of you know, we've been doing a raffle uh, for the last couple of weeks to help Oscars go for me campaign. Very happy to announce the raffle is now closed. We are actually about to draw it. We will draw it in a, a bit. Um, we're we're kind of late with it, so we're just going to be on none time. We'll get even later because I thought I've got to grab Oscar for an interview because I want to ask you a bit. But I'm very happy to say the raffle has raised £600. So thank you very, very much. Thank you so much. Oh, you're very welcome. I mean, I've, we're so happy to be supporting you in this venture and going, going to Mexico to compete in the Gay Games as a power lifter. So to ask more. I'm going to ask Oscar a few questions just about his powerlifting um, journey and what powerlifting is. In fact, I'm going to start with that one because all I can manage to lift these days is the odd Malibu and Co. <laughs> and maybe um, you know a few a few little accoutrements when I'm down the sauna. But you know the thought of lifting a great big pair of dumbbells is just amazing. So Oscar, could you please tell me something? Um, you know what is powerlifting and how did you get into it? Uh, well, powerlifting is, is basically three lifts: the squat, the deadlift, and the bench. Um, and you just lift them uh, as heavy as you can. Okay. And why did you get into it? What is it that attracted you um, to it? Well, I got into powerlifting initially because it was it promised me a sport that I could eat whatever I wanted and I could still maintain this, this fine figure that I have, but that turned out to not be so true. Um, and then it just became something that I really enjoyed. Um, it's got, I think, an amazing amount of potential in terms of learning how to trust yourself, to work with your courage, to work with pushing your limits, to also be kind to yourself and work in a gentle way. And you're not, it's, uh, the community is very supportive because you don't really compete with other people, you compete with yourself and the weight, so that really appeals to me as a, as a, as a athlete. Fantastic, and so you're going to the Gay Games yes. in Mexico and you're competing in the MX category, uh, yes, yes. Um, and it's the first time we've been in this MX category, yeah, yeah. is that right? Well, in the yeah. Gay Games, yeah, the first time at powerlifting, powerlifting hasn't been in the Games for the last 10 years, I believe, and uh, this is the first time it's uh, opened in MX category, um, the MX category is uh, self-selecting, so trans lifters could be selecting themselves into either male, female, or MX category. Yeah. Unlike in the US, where they insist that trans uh, athletes only use the MX category, so it's a it's a much more really open uh, way of doing it. It's the way they do it um, here in the UK with the International LGBT Powerlifting Championships. Um, I am. Um, trans non-binary so I don't feel comfortable in the male or the female um, section and so actually I only live in competitions that offer MX as an option uh, that you select not as an option that you are enforced into uh, which means that, that that's the gay games and the um, and the international pilot and championships are in the UK. Fantastic. And um, what does it mean to you? Can you say more of the current climate in sport? We know that there's a lot of um, focus on the whole question of gender and categories. And um, what does it mean to you to enter the gay games in the MX category? Uh, and also as a person of colour, what, what's the importance to you of that? Um, well, I mean, the importance is just to be able to be seen um, and to hopefully do well. Um, I think, for me, what's important about this particular category is that it's a self-selecting category, so it's not taking a, taking away our ability as trans uh, and non-binary uh, athletes to choose whether, you know, some trans people will want to select as male or female, and I think that's completely fine. Um, I don't want to do that, and so the MX is open to me as that option. I want to be able to show that MX is a valid category, and that we can, you know, it's not a, it's not an option that we don't we need to shy away from, especially for non-binary lifters. Um, and as a person of colour, I mean, obviously there's not a lot of representation in elite sports. Uh, well, it, it, there is elite sports, but not in. Um, powerlifting so much, at least the competitions I've been on, so it's important for me to be able to represent and show other Peter Pop people that they have uh, this as an option for them. 
Fabulous. Well, that's absolutely amazing. So, Oscar, thank you so much. Thank you. Um, we're going to be talking to you again. I will, can I announce about our little discussion yeah, earlier? Sure, yeah. I'll just announce very quickly that um, Oscar's very kindly agreed to be sainted by us. So, when we are going to make his saint or their saint. Do you use the or they? What's your they, pronoun? Yeah, no, yeah. So, we're going to make their saint day, the 5th of November, which is the day you're competing yes. in Mexico. So, when Oscar gets back from the gay games in Mexico, we will be saying to them more on that and more on what his formal saint name be and all of that kind of thing later. Yeah. But Oscar, we wish you the best of luck. Oh, it's been so absolutely fantastic learning yeah. more about powerlifting and, about, and you know, getting to know you a little more as well yeah, in this, this raffle journey. So now we're going to go off and we're going to draw the raffle. So, also, like, yeah. thank you so much for all of your support and all of the oh. hard work you've got this. Oh, it's, really been, a, it's been a real pleasure. Okay, thanks very much. Bye.